Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and with winter coming up, I'm putting together kind of an emergency everyday carry setup for things a truck owner should have with them. And I'd really like to have a toolbox along the back of the truck or have a bed cover on with at least like a regular toolbox or a job box or something under that bed cover so I can keep a lot of stuff in there without worrying about anything getting stolen or even just the rain getting in it. So I'd really like to be able to run either a bed cover or a built-in toolbox but the problem is I also regularly pull a gooseneck and I don't want to be taking anything in and out. So I'm going to hook the gooseneck up and find out exactly how much clearance I have. And then I have a bed cover that came with the truck that I don't think will work, but I'm going to put it on and give it a try. So a big part of why I would make this video is for people who are Googling the answer, can you use a bed cover with a gooseneck? So obviously for reference, we need to know what size bed this is. This is what they call a six foot bed. Actually taking a measurement, I'm getting 73 and a half inches, so just over six foot. And obviously your gooseneck could also vary, but they're pretty standard. So from the, from the post, I've got 31 and a quarter inches. I've got these bolts that stick out. So 29 and a quarter is the measurement I get right now. I don't think it's ever gonna be less than that. In my mind, I was thinking when you jackknifed it, these could come further back, but I don't think there's any way that's gonna happen. Let's go ahead and do a test real quick. Okay, my concern was that this does protrude back past this, but if you go from the back of the bed to the closest point here, we're still at 30 inches, and everything back here is sticking way up in the air, so none of this is a concern. So we're not going to have anything more, anything closer than 30 inches with it jackknifed. This specific bed cover came with the truck, but I picked up my gooseneck about a week after the truck and I looked at this and said, there's no way I'm gonna be able to use that. So I've never, never ran it with this on except for driving it home. But I'm looking at it now and thinking there's a chance it could fit. Cause I got 29 inches as my shortest, 29 and a half, and this is 27. And a couple inches of that will overhang onto the back lip of the truck. So I think we might be good on this. So let's get it, let's get it put on there. And this will tell us, because a bed cover is nice, what I'd really like to have is a built-in toolbox. But let's get this put on and see how it fits. Say this one seems like it's a lot easier to take on and off than the ones I've used before. The only negative I'm seeing here is that I can't see the gooseneck ball on the backup camera, so I've actually got to walk out and look at it to get it lined up, which is no big deal. How close do you think I am from that screen? Let's go see. So the only downside to having the bed cover on is I had to get out of the truck twice. The first time I was too far back, then I pulled forward and got it lined up in the second try. I think it's definitely gonna be worth it. 
So I'd really like to have a built-in toolbox, but I don't want to spend the money on a nice one. So I think I'm going to get like a heavy Rubbermaid tote or something like that. It's got a place to hook some straps and put it up under here. Fill that full of everything that I think a guy should carry in his truck. All your jumper cables, tire tool, all that sort of stuff. And keep it back here under cover so it can't be messed with. It really makes my day to find out that that works with the bed cover. All right, well, I feel like that's a big improvement. It's nice whenever maybe it's raining and you want to go get groceries or, you know, even I've been carrying a lot of tools back there and maybe a chainsaw is in the back of the truck. I can leave it in there for the next day and not have to unload even if it's going to rain. So pretty handy to be able to find out I can run my bag cover with the gooseneck. Anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.